They're called solar bags. I cut it in half because it's too big for the studio. You cut it in half? It's 50 feet long. Oh my god. This gosh. is what we were floating on Coors Field. And the way that we were floating them is we were using the power of the sun. So uh, if you look at the material, it's super, super, super lightweight. Yeah. Um, but now all of a sudden we fill it with air and then as soon as the sun hits it, of course, you've got the radiation, oh, right? right? And that radiant heat now makes that air expand. Expand. And as it expands, the silly thing floats. Hey, can I show you how the whole thing was inspired? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was this. We have actually the uh, the dry cleaner genie, so nobody does this one oh. at home. So oh, this okay. one's oh, right. just a little bit different, but I'll show you how it works. So it goes like this. We're using hot uh, air to be able to make this work. So watch. I'm going to start this up. Oh, fire, yeah. of course. <laughs> just fire in plastic bags. Yeah, Am hey, I in any hey, danger? Hey, I said oh. don't try this at home. So watch this. All the air is out, all right? All right. And as you were teaching kids that, uh, that uh, warm air is less dense than cold air watch what happens you can kind of see the bag start to expand just a little bit the air in the side uh, I should say oh, the sure. air is starting to expand right. is that kind of nice and uh, the silly thing will kind of come down here like this and uh, for a classroom demonstration it's kind of nice to be able to see if we just have no air that's in here that it starts to expand and the thing will start to, to rise and start to float which <laughs> is kind of correct? fun isn't that fun so it's like the dry cleaning oh, ghost is that kind of fun <laughs> that kind of fun hey and so it cools. If, that's great. if any of our teachers are out there I know the weather has not been conducive for it right now but if any of our teachers are out there we want them to float the bag show us the experience give us some video we're going to highlight them on some upcoming shows and they're going to send it to that send it tab that we have on 9 News. Okay. Um, where do you where did you find a, a 50 foot? How long are they? Are they 50, 50 feet, feet long? The first product I ever made uh, like this was 100 feet and it was just not manageable. Oh so we started making solar bags about 15 years ago as a way for teachers to be able to just kind of make this fun and they've That's been amazing. available. And can I tell you the since. weather balloon that you guys launched at Weather and Science Day? Wasn't that fun? Uh, and and I'm, I'm, a lot of our viewers saw that and so many have commented on it. This is the most remarkable thing. 93,000 feet. 93,000 oh, feet. This well no no because you never recover the weather balloon. It always pops. Here I'm going to turn off the fire you hang on to this okay. that's what it looks like before you send it up and yeah because uh, it looks is, small uh, going up and then it crazy expanded to and uh, expanded to about 45 feet we have video of a camera pointing up where you can actually see it burst and then just watch the frenzy of activity and of course beaker was hooked onto it and so we have a show that's going to air uh, on a program called the spangler effect part of that youtube thing that we were talking about oh, so right. youtube.com slash the spangler effect cool. it's going to air on wednesday i'll put a link on it because okay, so everybody was interested in that